Well, award-winning travel writer Kate Harris is one of the keynote speakers here at the meeting, and I'm delighted that she joins us now. Kate, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, it's lovely to have you here. Um, you're one of the keynote speakers, but I know that you'll be talking a little bit about your book, which came out last year, um, Lands of Lost Borders, Journey on the Silk Road. Tell us a little bit about what the book's about, how it came about. Tell us more. Sure, yeah. So the book, um, it's about a bike trip on the Silk Road that I took with my best childhood friend, Melissa. Um, but even more than that, it's, it's um, a, kind of an exploration of how borders of all kinds shape and, and shatter our world. And also an exploration of exploration itself. You know, this, this sort of basic impulse we have to figure out what in the universe we're doing here. I know there's some footage and we're going to see some of that very shortly, but I've watched it and it's an incredible journey. I mean, you went through some really extreme environments. That must have been really testing. It was intense, yeah. And at certain moments, we longed to be back home in our cozy beds. Um, but at the same time, there was, there was nothing else I wanted to be doing with my life or, or in the world at that point. Um, so that kind of kept us going. And um, you must have come across all sorts of different people, different communities. Tell us a bit about those. Yeah, the most phenomenal aspect of the trip by far was um, meeting people along the way and being met with such incredible warmth and generosity and, and kindness at every turn. Um, you know, we were traveling through countries that people only hear bad things about in the news, you know, all the stands. And uh, on the ground, the reality is really different. And that's one of the beauties of bike travel is that it, it makes you uh, move through a place in a really intimate, exposed way. And, and the, the, the flip side, the joy of that is, um, yeah, meeting all kinds of people you wouldn't meet otherwise because you're, you're off the beaten track. Um, and they also seem to respect you more because you show up on a, on a bicycle having clearly exerted yourself to get there. Um, so it's not like rolling in on a tour bus and um, stepping off with your, you know, your camera around your neck. Well, I know we've got some footage that we're going to look at now. Tell us what bit you wanted us to see. So we're going to see a little bit of footage from Tajikistan, which was probably my favorite stretch of the trip. Um, it's the most mountainous country in the world and uh, also one of the poorest countries in the world. And yet people are so incredibly generous there and kind. Um, it borders Afghanistan, China, um, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan. Uh, and not many people have heard of the place, so it's really fun to share what it's like. Great, let's have a look. Oh, Kate, thank you for sharing that with us. That was brilliant to see. Now, as I said earlier, you're here as a keynote speaker. What are you going to be talking, without giving too much away, what will you be talking about? Um, the big themes of the book, mostly. So around you know, my uh, misadventures, exploring the edges of things from nations to endurance to my own sanity at times. Um, and a few of the encounters with, with borders, especially contested borderlands, that really you know, I went into with certain stereotypes about or um, expectations for what I'd see and, and ended up coming away with a very different picture of what, what's going on in these places where uh, we've built really intense walls. So I'll be talking, yeah, about all of that sounds, in 40 sounds, minutes. Sounds fantastic. Um, I think we're all dying to know though, just to finish off, what's next? What have you got planned next? Um, well, the latest adventure has been uh, living off grid in a tiny cabin yeah. um, on the border of BC, Alaska and the Yukon, uh, where daily life really is an adventure. It's like being on a bike trip in that you know, anything inessential in that small space. I live in less than 200 square feet with my partner. Um, anything inessential is just a burden. And so you really learn to pare down um, and you know, you step out the door and there's, there's sort of mountains and rivers in all directions and um, incredible landscapes to explore and also a really amazing community that I'm a part of. So just learning how to live off grid, live 
close to the land. Um, and I've also been learning how to fly a plane, which has always been a dream of mine. I, you know, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. Um, so this is my version of a very low Earth orbit. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, it all sounds really exciting. Will we see another book, do you think? Definitely. Yeah, I've just, I've just gotten the next uh, book deal for the, the, my future book, which does not yet exist. But uh, it'll be about living off grid and learning to fly and uh, kind of wanderlust gone local. You know, it's so easy to be amazed by the world when you sort of catapult yourself into another country and everything is different and you're, you're woken up by that. Um, but how can we bring that same uh, vibrancy of, of attention and awakeness to everyday life wherever we are? So that's what I'm exploring. Fantastic. Well, watch this space. We will be looking forward to it. Thanks <laughs> Thank so you. much for joining us, Kate. My pleasure. SeaTac TV is brought to you from the SeaTac North America 40th Annual Meeting. Make sure that you watch all the fantastic interviews and reports that we've been gathering here at the annual meeting on our YouTube channel.